Tree is um, Sam's going to highlight a new project that we're working on, and then we'll talk about Project Belt and Executive Session. But we were actually called down to visit their headquarters in Florida, and um, Tom went with us on a visit. So it was a very productive visit, and we're hopefully preparing to hear something from them later this week. Yeah, and uh, the one I'll highlight this, this evening is Project Gold. It's a company that reached out to us earlier this month. Uh, they're looking to uh, expand either in Florida or Georgia. And they plan a site visit on May 27th, so I'm trying to line up um, a few places to go visit and see if they're interested in existing buildings for lease. Uh, they have specific requirements, so I'm working with some realtors and folks to, to, to narrow down some sites so we can have a good day plan for them. So that's what's going on there. Um, and also, as you can see, existing industry report, I've, those are some of the visits I've made uh, the past month. I went to Letica, Smith Drug Union, Tank Car, uh, DuPont. I met their new uh, plant manager. Um, she is extremely nice. I sent her some cookies. Uh, I went and visited Dillard's and then Fussell Tire. Then obviously I went to uh, SAP this morning and visited with them and their new plant manager. Mr. Beasley, he's very nice as well. Um, and then I'll skip on down, if you go down to the Community Business Industry Partnership, I'm going to talk about the Business Retention Action Team, that's the flyer you have on your desk. It looks like this right here. It's a nice, nice quality one there. This is something that, and I want to thank Megan for getting this together, and she's kind of the, the brainchild behind this, but this is um, something we're kind of putting together for our industries as a tool that they can use to reach out. Um, and have information and contact information for whatever specific needs they may have. Uh, our goal with it is to uh, get together all these different folks from these different agencies, uh, probably on a quarterly basis, just get together, meet, discuss ideas, discuss what's going on, and see how we can better serve our existing industries. So um, I've already said, given this to a couple of our existing industries. They like it. They, they're very happy with it. And just a, it's just another tool for them to use. And, so what I would add to that is one of the things that Megan mentioned in Salesforce that you're going to see a report on later as we get, as we use that tool more, is referrals or assistance, um, assist. So when we visit these existing industries and they tell us, like for instance, Monica made the connection with Wiregrass tonight, then that would be a referral for how many times we refer them to an entity that needs assistance. So. One of the ways that you measure an existing industry program, not only is by capital investment and job growth, but also how many times you assisted that existing industry with, with finding a resource to help them get better. So that'll also um, be a report that you'll start seeing later. And it'll come from us. Stan, I've got one comment uh, on the back of this directory, the SBDC. Does it not have a new name now? No, it's the University of Georgia SBDC at Hobbs instead. Okay. I, yeah, I, I thought that there was some name change regarding that. that I don't situation. believe so. I'll ask Lynn. Okay. I can. I'll go, okay. I need to go see her and tell her about this. And we work closely together. Okay. Just, this. just, I just remember something. I'll double check about that. that. Sure. All right, so moving on to 